Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In this video, let's look at how to use Azure AD app roles to enable role-based access. We'll use the same example that we used for Azure Functions and the Web API authentication using Managed Service Identity. Here, we have an Azure function that uses MSI to talk to the Web API and get a token and use that to authenticate with it. The API has a controller which returns two values. This is all set up in the Azure portal and let's look at it action. Clicking run executes the function and makes a call to the web API and returns the values. Let us look how to enable role-based access using Azure AD app roles so that we can limit the APIs to certain roles in the application. To add an application role, we need to go to the AD application that's used to authenticate this app. Let's go to the Azure Directory tab and under App Registrations, go to the AD app that we have created. Under the Manifest and in the App Roles, we can add in the roles for this application. This requires a specific structure like this, which I have already written. It accepts an array of values, so we'll provide just one role to start with. The key types are the allo member types, which can be application or user or even both. You can even specify a comma separated value here saying user. This means this role is applicable for an application, also for a user. In our case, since we are using an MSI token, we just need it to be an application. But if this is a typical web application, you might want to add users to this app and then you have to specify user. Let's leave it like this with both the values in there. The description is the description for the role and the display name is the display name. The value is what comes in part of the token. For now, I'll give them as admin Now that it's created, let's save the manifest. We now need to add the MSI principle to this new role that we have created. If you navigate to the application under the enterprise application list, which is here, and find the corresponding app that we've just updated the manifest for, under users and groups, you can assign roles to the application. However, in this, you can only add users and not applications. So I can add users to this app from here, but not applications like the Azure Functions MSI principle. For that, we need to use PowerShell. So let's switch to PowerShell and see how this can be done. I've already written down the commands that's required for creating this role assignment. First, it connects to the Azure AD tenant, gets the MSI service principle using the name. This is the same name as your function app. Get the AD application that we need to associate the service. Get the AD principle for the role assignment using the name again, and then create a new Azure AD service app role assignment, passing in the required values. Executing this, prompts me for my Azure credentials. You can see it successfully executed the script and added a new service app role assignment. If we head back to the portal, you can see it's created here. The portal does display the role assignments of applications, but does not allow you to add news. So now we have successfully added the MSI service principle to this Azure AD app role that we have created. We can now head back to the code and under the controller function, we can add an authorize attribute and say it needs to belong to the role of an admin. Let's publish this. Head to the portal 
and run the function again. Looks like the token is not yet refreshed because of which we are getting the forbidden request because it expects a role in the token. To verify this, let's go to the jwt.io site using the token, paste it in here and see you don't have any roles assigned at the moment. Let's wait for a while and refresh this once we get the updated token. Running the Azure function after a while again, once the tokens have been refreshed, you can see it makes a successful call and gets back the values. If we are to inspect this token now again, in jwt.io, you can see this has the roles admin. This is how you can use the Azure AD app roles to provide role-based access control. The downside of this method is that you need to add the users and applications to each AD application that you create for the various environments. So if you have three environments, let's say dev, test, and production, and you will have three AD applications, and you'll have to repeat this process for all three. We had seen how to use security groups as well to provide role-based access. In that case, the security group is just created once and you can use that across all your environments. Depending on your situation, use whichever option that best suits your needs. If you like this video and want to be notified of similar videos in the future, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.